Good afternoon. My name is Oshrit, and I am honored to be here today. A few things you need to know about me. I am 43 years old. I live in Jerusalem. I am manager of residen residential care home for teenagers with mental health problem, and I am donor 932. Usually, I am not a person of words, um, and you should also know I don't speak English so well. <laughs> so I hope the combination of these two will be not, uh, sorry, will not become a disaster. <laughs> when I ask why I donate my kidney, my answer was simple. I have two, and I only need one, so why not? I tried twice to donate, but I was forced to push it off both times. On the third time, I was successful. I don't believe in coincidence. I truly believe it was my destiny to donate my kidney to Atanas. All of the delays happened for this reason. Atanas and I would never have met if uh, I had been successful in the first two times. Whenever we speak about donating a kidney, we talk about the impact uh, as on the recipient and the return to normal life. But we don't speak about what the donor gets it in return. So I would, I would like to tell you what uh, I gained. First, I am a better person. I am more patient, welcoming, and learn how to put things in perspective. Second, I am also healthier now than ever before. As a donor, you must drink a lot of water, eat healthy, and exercise. In other words, everything I didn't do before. <laughs> Third, I bless to learn a new culture, break down the walls, and create two new family the Zaire family and Matnat Chaim family. The Zaire family and friends adopt me as if I was on one of their own. We meet in weekend, we celebrate both Jewish and Christian holiday, and we travel together. What an ex ex exciting day it was to see Atanas go down on the aisle at his wedding uh, with amazing Andrea. Last, but most importantly, the Matnat Chaim family. They have become such more than a kidney matching organization. They are source for Im inspiration. It goes beyond the support they give the donor before, during, and after the operation. Arabanit Rachel, Continue the legacy of her late husband, Harav Aber, Zichrono Livracha, by getting to know each and every donor personally. Before Abanit asked me to, to speak here today, she thanked me for a donation the second kidney. Apparently, someone I know, and I not been in touch this, uh, with for years, read our story and decided to donor her kidney too. I want to take this opportunity to tell each and every one of you, if you're thinking about donation, donating a kidney, reach out. It's not as difficult as one might uh, imagine, and it's definitely very important. Matnat Chaim is here for help, and so am I. Please feel free to reach out and become part of our family. Thank you so much for the attention. Please welcome my dear friend, Atanas. Good evening, everyone. My name is Atanas. I'm a 37-year-old doctor from Nazareth. 
Thanks to Ashrit and Matnat Khaim, I also proudly hold the title Kidney Transplant Recipient. I came here today to share with you my incredible story, a story of struggle, of hope, and of resilience. Thank you for this opportunity. My struggle with kidney disease began when I was a medical student in Budapest. Despite all the complexities, I pushed on graduating med school with honors. After passing the Israeli medical boards and during my internship year, my kidneys finally gave up. And my nephrologist told me what I already knew. You will need to start dialysis immediately. And you need to find a kidney donor because kidney transplant will be your best chance at survival. Ironically, on May 17, 2020, on the, very on the very same day I was supposed to marry the love of my life, Andrea, in a dark coincidence, it was the day I was rushed into a surgery so they can place a dialysis catheter in my abdomen. Being on dialysis made me feel extremely sick. I had to take some time off my job at the hospital. But being me, I refused to stay at home feeling hopeless. I managed to have the dialysis machine brought to me at home, and I started connecting daily for, daily for nine hours so I can go back and work at the hospital. Not everyone liked this idea, as they were worried for my well-being. But I couldn't care less. Being at work treating others kept me distracted from my deteriorating, de deteriorating health situation. I got the call I was waiting for in August 2020. It was Tirza from Matnat Chaim. She said, Atanas, we found you a donor. My mom was just beside me when I got the call. Her tears of happiness did not stop that evening. I was so curious and wanted to know everything about my donor. But the only thing I was allowed to know that she was a woman and she was concerned that I'm a very good person. <laughs> I had my kidney transplant on the 7th of December 2020 in the midst of the second corona wave. I was one of the first kidney transplantees during COVID times. The first thing I remember while anesthesia was wearing off was my mom and Andrea beside my bed. They said everything went well and the kidney already started making urine during the surgery. <laughs> the next day being me, I was out of bed on my feet. I went down to the transplant unit, that's almost three floors down, um, and we lit together the first candle of Hanukkah with Professor Moore, the surgeon, with my nephrologist and the rest of the staff. We also decorated a small Christmas tree together. I think we all agreed that this was my own personal Hanukkah miracle. So how is life after surgery, after a transplant, you might ask? Well, it can't get better. Oshrit and I have celebrated two kidneyversaries already, and we look forward to many more. Now I have a new family in Jerusalem. Andrea and I finally had our wedding last summer, with Oshrit being the guest of honor. I went back to being the doctor and not the patient. I treat others and I save lives. And I, speak, I spend a big portion of my life promoting live kidney donations. Finally, this whole journey has made me a better person. It taught me to appreciate the small things in life, the things that truly matter, you know? And as a friend once told me, Atanas, you only started truly living once you started dying. I'd like to share with you all that the Rabbanit Heber received not long ago the prestigious Israel Prize for a long life period. I'd like to call her. I'd like to humbly call her to the stage for a joint photo. 